Hola mi gente, como usted esta? It's your boy Exordia Man and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. Really do appreciate it. We have here a loco match. The finals. Yep, it's me, it's me playing the Flunderies. And it's my boy Jeremy Jones playing the Mathmex. He's been doing very well with that deck, bro. He's been topping a lot of events. Um, so I started it off with the, the time tiering when the pod duality didn't get anything. You guys can see my hand is broken. <laughs> Psych, it's bricky. <laughs> I don't got no birds. I got nothing. <clears throat> I'm a little upset. Like, yeah, you can go, bro. You see? <laughs> you can go. I don't want to play no more. <laughs> that's crazy. I bricked hard. But that's what Flunderies do, man. They break. Look at me. I'm like, I can't believe it. <laughs> So Jeremy starts with the math. Uh, he's gonna go with, uh, well, he's playing math. So he's gonna start with uh, Small World, showing Santa Claus. Then into the bridge starts with Nibiru, and then Math Singular, okay. Because he can get whatever he wants. Target. Okay, Jeremy starts with And look at me, I'm still asking questions. Because I, I really don't know, like I, I kind of do know Small World, how it works. I just be messing up sometimes. And sometimes I just let my opponent add, um, activate it, get what he wants, and most of the time he couldn't get the card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Small World is really tricky, so you gotta read it correctly. And make sure your opponent picks the cards. I think Jeremy's trying to show me another line. Uh, I was like, never mind, bro, don't worry about it. Uh, activate uh, mass sing uh, singular, dropping the the, uh, the animator. The animator, you hear me? <laughs> Just making up words at the <laughs> at this point. Ah, <sighs> special summon the monster. Affect the singular, <sighs> and then the they got over to us the kind of fair. Get the trap card. Okay. Overlay here. I ne I never know how to pronounce this fucking XC monster for Mathmix, but he's gonna activate it. I'm gonna meet it with an imperm, but then he's gonna cha chain to negate it. And yeah, I'm just gonna activate school phase at this point. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. And then what can I do? Sit down. Let him beat me up. Hell nah. We're gonna go into game two. I started it off here with the. Uh, D shifter and a time, uh, well, I activated time uh, tearing and then shifter and then pod duality. Either I got the map or the England. I totally forgot. But yeah, shifter too strong, man, right? So we got Eng we got map showing England, sending uh, Robin to the banish area, fixed up. Uh, summon England, chain Robin. Robin goes back to the hand. We search um, N pen, <laughs> the big papa. The Dark Vader of the deck, you know? Tribute here. Summon end pen. Uh, chain one, chain two. Uh, Eagling go back to hand. Search the trap card. Dreaming Town! I've been thinking of playing like uh, two Dreaming Towns, and that continue. I can't believe I don't even know the card name. The Flundery Continuous Spell? I don't know. All right. So now Jeremy goes. He draws for turn. He draws a Cyclone. That's really good. <laughs> okay. So Cyclone. Ooh, he hits the Avenger. That's crazy. If he would have hit Dreaming Town, I would have had a force to activate it. Obviously, I would have put probably like Apex or some shit like that. But yeah, oh, he has a kaiju in hand too. Marika. That's why. He had a kaiju in hand. I would have just kept going. Yeah, he was like, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> Shifter. Oh, no, I'm not doing this. Let's scoop it up and go to game three. All right, we're shuffling hard here. Making sure. Making sure that. <laughs> making sure. You got to make sure. This shuffle way. This shuffle way is so good. Make sure you don't break like I did in game one. Mm. All right. 
All right, so uh, Math McPair will go first here. Starting off with Small World once again. It sticks to him like glue. <laughs> so Ogre revealed. Um, a nib also. We already know what he's getting. It's common sense. <laughs> okay. He literally has everything he wants in his hand. Okay, send that. S summon the target special. Oh no, that's the. Um, I forgot his name. So that's what I did. It's not that. Uh, I forgot. I forgot that card's name. The Math Max card that he just summoned out. Oh, I totally forgot. We'll to keep it real. I forgot. <laughs> The exceeds, so, uh, attach the search. He already has a trap card in hand, so, right? right he does, right? Hell yeah, he does. Okay. He just going in. The amateur special summons a monster out, right? From the graveyard. That was the card's name, right? Splash, here comes Splash. Splash effect, target. So I'm reading cards now here. I, I'm, I was thinking like when he makes, um, I think he was either gonna make the, like a, he's gonna make, what's that guy's name? Hiso. I wanted to drop the nib on Hiso when he comes out. Uh, but I think I got a little cocky here. I was like, fuck it, we just blow up his board now. Gave him my Dragonite token. <laughs> he was like, nah, don't need it. This was Tabasuda. I'm gonna go into Link Spider. I forgot that Link Spider was a Sync, uh, Sync, you hear me? A Cybris monster. I realized that now, I was like, oh shit, he's about to go off still here. But that's fine. It's like as mad as as long as like this deck is so crazy. Math makes like so crazy. So you can nib it, you can ash it, you can ogre it. It just keeps going. I don't know if it keeps going under uh, the, the drawing lock because you know that 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 hand trap is broken as fuck right now. I don't even know why I'm playing thunderies with drawing lock around the fucking format, but I had to. It was, it was fun. Ooh. I see Mark sleeves. <laughs> One of those sleeves had a white mark on it. Jeremy, what you doing, my guy? No, I'm just joking, bro. I know you're not a cheater. Sign me. Two. Go into another. Where are you going to? Splash, right? He has to go to another splash, right? Yeah. Okay. A special summon. Okay, that's a three right there. He's so. Pays a thousand to draw. What do you get? What do you get? Ah, let's see what you got. The hand looks okay, to be honest. We're just gonna go pot of prosperity here. Yo, we don't use none of those extra decks, so Avanza Alejandro. Let's keep it moving, okay? Ghost Bell, Evenly, Time, the Shifter, Eaglin, and Pot. I don't need nothing. So I just take the ghost bells like that's probably a good hit. Like you, you probably need that if he if he opened with the trap card, which he kind of did. Uh, but <clears throat> trying to think here. Ooh, the drawing log. Yo, I can't stand that card. <laughs> Ooh, I I I, I should have went adventure 
uh, search the map, activate the map, and pass. That is the way I should have ended my turn, but it's whatever. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, I'm really upset. I was like, fucking join a lot. <laughs> but I should have activated the adventure, uh, sending whatever bird I have into the banish area, get 500, search out map, activate map, pass turn, and then play on his turn. But he is, he, I think he has an ogre in his hand, so, I mean, but it's okay. That's how you play. You have to play it like that. So I was like, fuck. Oh, I was so mad. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to swing. Go into battle. Swing over Hiso. Uh, he's going to activate the trap. I'm just going to go spell it. And, yeah. <sighs> Set to pass. I was like, damn, bro. Drone lock is too bueno. <laughs> it's crazy. Make, it makes you want to play crossouts. Because, <laughs> yo. <laughs> it was crazy. Drone lock was too good. Oh, he hit me real hard with that shit. Ah, I still feel it. <laughs> it's like, damn. But we do have a Nibiru on board. 3,000 attack. Uh, but you know, this guy, Math, Math Max just, they start strong, man. They start strong. Look, he has an ogre. Like I said, the right way, the right play was for me to search out the map and activate the map to play on my opponent's turn, but he has the ogre. So once that would have happened, he would have just activated the ogre, popping off, popping my, uh, what was that? The map and yeah, continue whatever he's doing now. <clears throat> the adventure. Yeah, see, this is what you should have done. I should have done this in the beginning, not, not, not now, because what I'm going to get, I'm going to get nothing, a map. <laughs> that should have been on the field already. I'm so mad. Drawing lock is real good, guys. If you're not playing your drawing locks, I don't know, man. You're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Here we go. One, two, three. He got three monsters already. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. I think, I think, I think, honest the truth, I think Flundery is a good rogue deck to choose. It's not probably in the rogue tier as a A. It's probably more like a B or C. But for the rogue tier, yeah. I play a lot of rogue, so Flunderies is pretty dope. It's just not the top tier for a rogue. I think it falls in like either B or C. I gotta say, Eldridge. <laughs> Eldridge is climbing. Eldridge is climbing up there, bro. So look forward for that, because I might go back to playing my trap. <laughs> Golden Lord Man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here comes Talker. Mm hmm. Link, link. Here comes Big Papa, Access, and yeah, just pop, 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 and I can attack for game, because that shit is like 53 right now, <laughs> and it attacks twice, so, yep, we lose, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, I really do appreciate it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and you know how it is, man, T